All right, now we are looking at temperatures in the lower 40s for us here in Tulsa. It's a chilly one this afternoon after a strong cold front made its way through not only green country, but the majority of the country yesterday with everyone seeing those colder temperatures for this morning. We're seeing a mix of sun and clouds out here in our Dave's Claremore RV weather camera network. Temperatures throughout the area. So 43, like I said, here in Tulsa. We're seeing 44 in Okmulgee, 41 in Coffeyville. Toward our west, Oklahoma City at 39 degrees. A little cooler off to our west as some areas there are experiencing some snow flurries as of this afternoon. But 24 hour temperature changes are in those uh, 20s for us here in uh, northeastern Oklahoma. So definitely can feel the difference out there uh, for now. Uh, current wind speeds are going to keep things feeling a bit colder than they actually are with those winds staying gusty out of the north. We are seeing gusts around 25 miles per hour at the moment with sustained winds in the teens. This evening we are going to be warming up into around 50 degrees for our high and and then dropping back into those 40s as we head into tonight. Isolated drizzle on the way starting around 9 o'clock. As we head into later tonight, that will turn into showers and a few snowflakes mixed in with those showers as well. This is mainly going to start around the midnight hour, lasting as long as 11 a.m. on Tuesday. So could see a couple of snowflakes on your car window by the time you're up tomorrow morning, but no major impacts are going to be expected out of this, mainly just because our surface temperatures are going to be above the freezing mark. So Tulsa will be at 34 degrees, Ponca City 33 for tomorrow and in those upper 30s down to our south. So no significant impacts are expected. So planning this out, this is this evening, seeing that band of moisture set up across northeastern Oklahoma, seeing those flurries mixed in there during the overnight hours and into early Tuesday morning. The chance for rain will continue into your Tuesday afternoon. Mostly just pesky drizzle though, not looking at any widespread rainfall uh, throughout Tuesday. Overcast skies throughout the rest of your Tuesday evening with isolated showers up to our north. And then Wednesday conditions improve significantly as mostly sunny skies are back in the forecast for Wednesday and Thursday and temperatures uh, back in those mid 60s. So feeling more spring-like for the middle of this week. And let's go ahead and take a look at Collier's Classroom now. Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Collier. Today's lesson is about the sun and how hot it truly is. The sun is 865,000 miles wide. That is seriously big and is about 110 times wider than Earth's diameter. If the sun were the size of a beach ball, then Jupiter would be the size of a golf ball and Earth would be as small as a pea. Around 74% of the sun's mass is made up of hydrogen, which is amazing as it is a very light gas. In fact, the lightest gas ever found. Helium makes up around 24% of the sun. All right, well, we will be expecting more of that sun as we head into the middle of this week. Not so much of that for tomorrow, Erin. <laughs> All right, thank you, Kerrigan.